Leave the kids girl. alone. If you want to chop your dick off, I have nothing against that. I'm not anti-gay. I'm not anti-transgender. I'm not anti any of these things. What, I'm, what I am anti is propagating your worldview on other people's children. If you're gay and you can't have kids, why do you now believe it's your right to go to other people's kids and tell them how to think? If you've decided that the type of sex you want to have will prevent you from, recreate, from procreating, that's your decision, right? You've decided that having sex with women isn't worth it for you. You don't want to have children. You want to have sex with men. Fine, your decision and you're entitled to it. That does not give you the entitlement to go to other people's families who did decide to have children and raise them and try and program their children. Leave the kids alone. You can be as transgender as you like. Don't come talk to my kid about it. That's my child. I will program my child with my worldviews. I raise them. I pay for them. They're my kid. They're not your kid. And they're not the government's kid. And this is what I was saying earlier about women being blank slate. Same with children, right? You either program your woman and program your children or society will do it. Do you believe the lessons that society are putting inside of people today are good lessons? I don't. I don't. I will not send my kids to school. I don't think they're going to learn anything. Do you know how many fucking teachers I've seen pissed out of their minds, sucking cock in fucking corner on, 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 on pub toilets on cocaine? I'm a teacher. Huh? You ain't got shit to teach my kid. You're an idiot, right? I can teach him to fucking do math at home. We have the internet. We have unlimited information. I can say Google World War II, write a report. Boom. Talk tomorrow. And with discipline, my kid will know more than any kid in any public school without the indoctrination, without all the fucking propaganda. That's what all this shit is. All this shit's very deliberate. Deliberate. Governments know what they're doing when they're trying to propagandize. And, and I think a lot of people do not understand yet because most people still live inside of the matrix. Right? Well, it's conditioning. It's conditioning. Sit at a desk, five years old, sit at a desk, 65, retire. Yeah. Shut up. It's conditioning. Learn how, because what happens is we don't use the right side of the brain, which is our creativity and our individuality. We're all scared to be different now. Yeah. And as soon as you are different, people fucking point their fingers and then they yeah. just jump back in their box. Yeah. So it's so easy to labels. What do you think about people that's being identifying as pandas and fucking It's unicorns. insanity. And everyone knows it's insanity, but we're not supposed to say it's insanity, right? And it's mm -hmm. kind of interesting where... A government, their number one job, a lot of people out here, it still amazes me. They believe the government care about them. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Corona, well, they locked us in our house, but they want us safe. They, they, more people have died from missed doctor's appointments for cancer diagnosis than they did Corona. Shut up. They don't want you safe. They've never cared about you being safe. They never will care about you being safe. If you believe the government wants you safe, you are too far gone to save. 